Today I'm going to be introducing the n-gram model um, using the Python library called SPACY. The n-gram model is a fundamental concept to computational linguistics. It uses the assumption that some words tend to follow other words, and it is able to use this assumption to predict the next word in a sentence. For example, for given the sentence, I just ate the full meat, we know that meat tends to precede the word pi. So we're able to guess that the next word in this sentence would be pi. And for the sentence, that is some tasty red, we know that the words tasty and red tend to precede the word meat. So we can guess that the next word would be meat. If you're given the words, I believe that coding in Python is, and you want to determine the probability that the next word is fun. One way to do it is to take a corpus and count the number of times the words, I believe that coding in Python is fun occurs. And within the same corpus, count the number of times, I believe that coding in Python is occurs. And this would give you the probability that the next word for this collection of words is fun. However, this is not a very effective way of determining the next word uh, because even within a very large corpus, the number of times I believe that coding in Python is fun occurs would be very small since it's a pretty specific sentence. And if you're given even more specific sentences, there may be no examples to work with. Uh, one way to overcome this is to use the Markov assumption, which tells us if we only use a few words preceding the word we're trying to predict, um, we would get a similar uh, approximation. So, for example, if we're predicting the same word fun, instead of using the full sentence, we would only have to use uh, the number of times the words Python is fun occurs within the corpus and divide that by the number of times Python is occurs within the corpus. Let's divide the sentence coding in Python is fun uh, into different n-grams. So we'll start with uh, unigrams. Unigrams are pretty simple. Uh, you just divide the sentence into individual words. Bigrams, you divide the sentence into groups of two words. So the first one would be coding in. The next one would be in Python and so on. And you stop at is fun, because if you look at fun, there's no word following fun. And then trigrams works in a similar manner. Uh, the first one would be coding in Python. Let's use n-grams and the Markov model to determine the likelihood of the next word for the sentence, I believe that Python is. Here we are given a mini corpus, and we will analyze this corpus to determine our prediction. The corpus contains the four sentences, coding in Python is fun, Python is awesome, learn to code, and Python is fun. For using a bigram model, we first look at the number of occurrences for Python is. Notice how Python is occurs three times. Now, we notice that fun occurs twice, while awesome occurs once. This would tell us that there is a two out of three chance that the answer would be fun, and a one out of three chance that the answer would be awesome. Now we are going to be using the spacey library to generate bigrams given a inputted sentence. I assume that you have a basic understanding of how to use spacey. If not, please watch a few basic tutorial videos on how to use spacey before resuming this tutorial. So first off, we're going to load the English model um, to create a NLP object. Um, Using the NLP object, uh, we are going to create a doc object from an inputted sentence. Now I created this method that takes a spacey doc and outputs 
a result. The result is a list that contains sublists, where each sublist contains two tokens that make up a bigram. Here is an example output of the result. Notice how I am iterating through each element in the main list. And then within each element, I am iterating through each token. And for each token, I am printing it out. So as you can see, it is printing out the proper bigrams given this sentence. This method contains two lists. The first list is a list that I will re return that contains the result. The second list is a list that contains only the words from the doc. This for statement removes all of the non-word tokens from the document. As you can see, I used uh, the isAlpha method from the token object. This for loop iterates over the list that contains all of the words from the document and separates them into bigrams. For example, if we were to uh, separate this sentence right here into bigrams, it would start with uh, the first element and determine the first two tokens and add them to a separate list, which it then appends to the result. It will continue on doing this, adding the tokens two by two to the result until it gets to the second last element as shown with this minus one right here. This prevents it from going to the very end. And the reason why we prevent it from going to the very end is because if it was to get to the very end right here, it would search for the next token. But since there is no next token, it would cause an error. If we wanted to modify this program to generate trigrams instead of bigrams, it would not require much modification. First off, you would have to gather a third word. So the process would be pretty much the same as getting the second word for a bigram, except we would have to add two to the iterating variable instead of one. And of course, we would have to add this third word to the sublist. Now, instead of stopping at uh, the second last word like so with the bigram, we would have to stop at the third last word. Uh, this is because if we were to stop at the second last word, uh, due to how we're adding two to the iterating variable, it would try to access an element that is outside the range of the list. So to do that, we simply have to change this minus one to a minus two. And of course, the result gets returned as normal. Thank you for watching. A link to a GitHub repository containing the code is provided below.